So in this video we're going to cover is basically part two of the list of upgrades and mods that in which I've done to my Ender 3v2. Um, I've gotten it to the point now where it's honestly the perfect machine for me. It just works every time. There's no hassle with it at all. And yeah, it's an excellent machine. So one of the things we added was Octoprint, which I think is pretty much one of the best mods you can add to an Ender printer. It just, it allows me to, it, it gives me peace of mind. So I can manage and control my printer from anywhere using an app called Octoprint, or Octo Everywhere, um, which works really well. Another upgrade we added was uh, Gyre's firmware, which opens up so many options to you, just from your LCD display on your printer. From doing all my POD tunes to you can see your Z offset, your printer temperatures, everything just right there on the screen. It's brilliant. It's it's free as well, so definitely get that right now. I just added this side mounted spool holder just because my printer was too tall for the cabinet that it's sitting in. So I'll include links for it in the description. It's useful. So I wanted to print ABS and PTG more reliably. Um, I never tried printing any of those things on the stock high end, but uh, so I added a micro Swiss all metal high end, which just opens up those opportunities to me. It means I can print more uh, rare filaments, I guess, or more specific filaments. So another two upgrades we added was a mount from Thingiverse that allowed us to get direct drive from the uh, stock extruder. And we added the Minimi V4 part cooling duct, which is excellent. I honestly didn't think it would be this good, but it is. 